What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, no, I have not been taken by the Men in Black, the CIA, or any of those three or four letter entities. Uh, we are here to stay. In fact, in the near future, my schedule may be changing back to where it used to be. So in other words, I used to get home a little sooner. We can bust out more videos. That doesn't mean I'm not going to make more videos. In fact, I've got three of them for you. This one here is cool. If you've ever heard of the Ringmakers of Saturn, uh, written by Norman Bergeron, you know what I'm talking about. Now, I've never read the book, but let me show you what I'm talking about. And it gets really, really interesting when you start to break this thing down. I've also got a video I want you guys to view as well, and I've taken some screenshots. Why? Due to copyright, of course, right? But it will definitely get the point across and the reason why I'm questioning this. And we're going to get into Photoshop as well. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? All right, you can see right here on Amazon, you can buy the book. It's Ringmakers of Saturn. And of course, the paperback was August 1986. All right, and you can see again from Norman Bergeron. And you can see right here in part of the description, it says from 45 plates of photographs taken during the Voyager 1 flight to Saturn in 1980. The reader of this remarkable book sees that one of the photographs shows the A-ring is incomplete. The author sets out to explain this phenomenon in an understandable form. And of course it goes on credentials and everything else, right? So I find it interesting, if you look at the cover of the book, and you can see it right here on the left-hand side, what looks like some kind of weird craft, or is it? Okay, so let's break this down a little bit more. Let me show you what I'm talking about and what is really going on. All right, this is Prometheus. This is what I believe is going on. Maybe this is a spacecraft he saw or thought he saw. Let me show you something interesting. I'm just gonna use the magnifier here. I want you to look at each of these craters on this little moon. Now you can see this crater here, we're going to move over to this one here. But look at the small rectangles in the lower right corner. If we do right about there, I'll center it. Then, of course, you can see right here on this crater itself, right? Let's go over here. Please explain why we're seeing these rectangular shapes on the front or the backside of this moon. You see this, right? Now, folks, I'm not doing anything to this. Check this out. Why are we seeing those? Look at the circle just above them. And then if you drop down further... You can see this real white area. You know, of course, they say it is of the sun because you can see the sun on the bottom here as well. And it's showing up over here. Or is it? I don't believe that it is. I believe it's a manipulation. So when you see this bright area, you come down, you come down. And just over this very bright crater, there appears to be a skinnier part of this glowing area. Hmm. What's that all about? The only thing I can think of is more centering, right? And again, we can go back to these weird craters. Look at this one here, how it has almost a square, like a wall on the upper part of it. Go to the left of that. You can almost see like a 90 degree angle right there in the middle of this magnifier right there. And you can see this white piece right in the center of this magnification. And a little one right at the top, although this one's faint. Now just these craters alone, folks, tell me, or at least indicate, that this is not a natural moon, nor do I think it is a moon. Okay? You can see these, again, these two or three areas of rectangular shapes, and I haven't done a thing to it, folks. There it is. This is on Wikipedia, and you can see it's from NASA JPL. You can see it right here. And the photo ID is PIA 12593, okay? And you can see created uh, 27 January 2010. And, of course, again, this is a Prometheus moon. Okay, now, let me show you something interesting. You can find the video that I took these snapshots off of right here. And it's in Saturn's Rings is the actual channel name, okay? And it says, raw, uncalibrated images from the Cassini spacecraft in sequence at 24 frames per second to get an idea of what Cassini photographs as it orbits Saturn. Most of the videos focus on Saturn's moon Prometheus as it orbits the planet. If you look closely, you can see how the moon disturbs Saturn's F-ring, tugging on the particles with its own gravity and creating a rippling effect. Now, I'm not going to run the video because I'll get copyright striked, but what I can do is I can show you the sequences I screen grabbed right here. Now, watch this. Now, keep in mind, Cassini spacecraft is changing position, so you're going to see it, like, change. The rings will change in the position. However, watch Prometheus, the moon itself. 
and then coming back off of the ring. My question is, why does this moon meander between the rings? Maybe there's a scientific reason for that. I don't know, but I would think it would just orbit, like kind of like our moon does. Now, does our moon orbit our Earth completely perfect, like a perfect ring? No. However, this thing meanders all over the place. You can see it go to the ring and then come back out of it. My question is, and I'm going to get highly speculative on this, is it possible this moon is maintaining the ring or is it getting energy from the ring? Let me explain. When I showed you the picture of this moon, it didn't look natural. It had some really weird shapes and things on it. Is it possible it's an ancient spacecraft? Let's get into Photoshop and look at it closer. Okay, here's this area I was talking about right here in green. You can see it right here. Okay, check out those rectangular shapes within this. I mean, you can just see that, right? What is the deal here? It would be one thing if it was just one, right, folks? It'd be possibly just a trick of light, right? But I'm not seeing that, folks. I'm seeing three of these shapes in two different areas. What's the deal here, right? This up here, well, it looks like a circle with something darker in it. See that right there? I showed you this particular crater. This crater kind of looks weird. It looks like it has, looks like things coming out of the center of it. See that? There's something right here. Nice 90 degree angle right there. You guys see that? Okay. This one right here really intrigued me because it has these features. Almost looks like something round and it's dark in the center of it. You have what looks like this wall or some kind of detail it doesn't look natural at all we have this thing in the middle of it and of course because it's a little far away you're not going to get the exact details see that that alone says this thing cannot be just natural we have something right here look at that closely looks like it's doing this here and what has a ball or something is sticking out of this okay this area here and there's another smaller one somewhere in here and you'll see that in a minute this thing has been censored. I don't believe that this thing is a natural moon at all. Okay. Now, let's get into this here because this is interesting. You can see this area coming down like this. But look at it. It does this. Look carefully. It gets narrower as it goes down to the end just over this crater. Hmm. What do you think that is, folks? Well, let's back up a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start getting into this photo. And it's hard to bring that brightness down. And you can see why, because it's super brightened out and censored, okay? So let's start bringing it down. And then any kind of other details that are lighter, we'll make them brighter so you can see them better. Okay. Keep going. Now, we're starting to bring this side down as well. This piece here on the left, like I showed you earlier, is now visible better. And I can show you this right here. Go back. See that? You can see that thing is actually there. We're just making it pop, right? We got something right here, like I said. And something right there is like a ring or some weird thing right there. Not sure what to make of that. Again, this crater. This crater. This one actually has what looks like rectangular areas as well. And you'll see this in a minute this feature right here in front of this crater. See that in the wall of it? Okay, let's keep going. All right, bring down the brightness of this area right here. Check this thing out. It's above that crater, whatever this thing is, right here on the right-hand side. What is going on there? See how it's super bright, but you can still see that area right there, how it's actually been super brightened up purposely. You can see that. These other areas up here, okay, right in here, this circular piece. Notice how this thing, this area right here, does this, okay? Looks like it has three circles. Well, a little bit sloppy details in the back, but again, we have this piece, this object, this here, it's all starting to become more and more visible, right? Here on your left. These are now coming out. 
okay, right here. Again, I don't believe that's natural at all. It's hard to make out what's in this one. And again, these little pieces here. This has all been completely centered out. We have this other piece, looks like it's protruding out of that. Okay. Now, let's go to the full enhancement. Folks, check out these funky features now. It's all over this. Here. Check these other two pieces out right here. Now, you might say, well, those weren't in the photo. They are. Now, look closely, because those are, in fact, there. Let's go back. Look at them carefully. Right here is one and two. Very faint. We could do it right here. Check this out. Look at the little spots. All I do is make them a little bit brighter so you can see them a little bit better. But they are, in fact, there. See that? You can see what looks like other shapes inside here. Again, this piece right here. Now it's more pronounced. You can see other objects. This looks like it has a round piece here. All of this other stuff up here, like I said. And we have what looks like something in here. Not sure what these objects are, folks, but check those out. Let's get that out of there. Okay. And again, this crater and whatever else is on the side of it. Is that in the photo? Yes, you can still see it right there. Let's pop it as much as we can. We can go back and forth. Just brighten it up so you can actually see it pop a little bit more. Again, here on the left. Not sure what to make of that, but why are these things here, folks? Clearly, this is not natural. And neither, or neither, is any of this here. You can see that. This, even on the original, not messed with, you can see that. These are not natural. There's no way that's natural. So is it possible this moon is actually an ancient spacecraft? And it does something with these rings. Again, we can go backwards on this, and you can see how this thing meanders around. My question is, why doesn't it go through the particles? Why doesn't it just go right through the particles? Why stop right there, and it kind of bounces into them, and then bounces right off of them and goes back into the center between the rings? What's going on here? And you can see it right there at the top, where it's actually bowed and made them kind of change shape as far as these molecules. So what could it possibly be? What is this thing actually doing? Is it getting energy from these rings? Is it maintaining the rings? What is it doing? Do you believe or do you think it's a possibility that this may be what Norman Bergeron has been talking about? You guys tell me what you think. I find it interesting that this particular moon has features like this right inside this magnified area. I also find it interesting that they completely whited this out and at the very tip of this or the very end of this brighted area has what looks like a smaller rectangular piece. And then of course we have these craters. I don't think this thing's natural at all. Is it possible it's both? It's natural and they built an ancient spacecraft. Who knows? Maybe this over a course of years became what it looks like. I don't know. But you and I are never going to see this thing up close unless of course you're NASA. Again, I think it's centering, and I think they found something really interesting about these particular moons, at least this one here. And like I said, it's, I find it weird how it just meanders but never goes through the particles. Like I said, is it refueling? Is it doing something with the ring to like maintain it? I don't know. I don't have the answers. I'm asking you folks, what do you guys think? And there you go. Folks, I don't know about you, but I find this interesting. When I see this and I hear about the book, and I might even buy the book because it seems really, really interesting, right? He talks about something very, very big. Now, I think it just said, uh, what did it say, 53 miles. 53 miles is a big craft. That's pretty darn large. Now, when I see it meandering between the rings, and it's causing a bow in the particles, but yet it doesn't go through the particles. That's kind of weird. So its own gravitational force is literally pulling on the particles. Why doesn't it go through the particles? Anybody have an answer to that? I find it interesting that it does that. And 
when you look at this picture, and again, before I even threw it into Photoshop, you can see what looks like two areas of what looks like rectangular or squarish, three of them in a row, three of these pieces. But then when you enhance it, a lot more different features come out. This thing looks totally mechanical. In my opinion, folks, this thing is not natural. It's not a natural moon. I believe this thing's mechanical. It might be an ancient spacecraft. As always, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'd be interested to hear what you got to say. Please like and share the video. is always appreciated. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Anyway, folks, got more coming up. Stay tuned for that, and we'll see you then. Peace.